This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-350 Super Cab. It's a four-door extra cab. Uh, dual rear wheel. It is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat package, which is leather. And it's an FX4 off-road suspension package, which is Rancho suspension that's installed at the Ford factory. This truck has 83,800 miles, and it is a dealer tray we bought directly from Bill Luke Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Phoenix. And uh, basically what's going on here is it was dealer trade-in, and because it's right on the edge of 10 years old, they may or may not be able to get financing for their... Uh, for their uh, used car buyers off of their used car lot. I'm shocked that they actually sold this truck. This is pretty stupid. These do not do not grow on trees in this condition with low miles. Um, I think they're retarded. But, is that PC say retarded? Whatever, I don't care. Um, anyway, uh, when we get them here, uh, we do a uh, inspection. This is what they look like. And then I put my little sheet, cheat sheets over here. Um, the only thing that we found that we're not fixing that is wrong is right there. The parking sensors don't work. And the reason we don't fix them is each sensor in the bumper is about a hundred, is well, a little over a hundred dollars a piece. And you start plugging them in and then you plug in all of them and then they still don't work. Them, uh, parking sensors and tire monitors, uh, sensors are the most annoying thing in the world. And so we don't do those. They just drive us crazy. And it's one of those things where you chase, 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 and so we're not doing it. So turn around and back up with your head on a swivel like we used to do for a hundred and something years. Um, let's see, we also did an oil filter, uh, oil and oil filter with Rotella T, which is what you're supposed to use. The coolant reservoir had a little crack in it. We were trying to figure out why we were getting a drip of water. It had a little crack in it, so we replaced that, and we did front and rear brake pads. Um, I'm going to walk around this truck. I'm going to show you what's happening. Uh, then I'm going to go and take 50 to 70 HD pictures. Uh, obviously, it's got a nice set of Michelins on it. The fronts are about 70 or 80% tread. The rears are probably 50%. Um, I will warn you, when you have one of these push bars on the front, um, it could affect how an airbag would release, obviously. Uh, it says that in the text of our ads, um, but I've been told by my brother to... Uh, add that to the videos so if you want to make sure your airbags work properly take that off okay um, it's pretty cool though and they're expensive <laughs> but uh, you need to know that that uh, that may be a factor in them not working some future event that's what the Rancho suspension looks like that's just installed at the factory when they build this truck you can see a little light I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. There's a little ding right here. Cosmetically, it's a beautiful truck. We did notice that the passenger, uh, not the passenger, the driver's side uh, wheel, uh, rear wheel flare uh, has been painted, which probably means that at some point somebody took it out on the drive-through and, uh, and uh, had a new one, bought a new one, clipped it on, and then painted it. It actually looks really good and because it's white you really can't tell but it is my job to make sure that you know what you're buying tell you everything there's a little thing right here obviously you could pull this up that would make sense which one of those parking sensors is no good or which ones multiple we have no idea and we're not even gonna go there because it's just too annoying I don't even know how much I've spent doing that chasing that problem this is for a hard tonneau cover. That's that. See that? There you go. That's why they have that rope on there to pull it close. Anyway, I, it's really hard to tell, but you can tell there's a little bit of floaty in there. I mean, it did a pretty good job. And because it's white, you really can't tell at all. But, uh, in fact, I had to have one of my guys pointed out. I didn't even notice it. I do notice, however, that we have one tire on that passenger inside rear tire is not a Michelin. So if you wanted a matching set, I'm not sure why they did that other than maybe they had a flat on that inside. 
and that was a spare tire. Uh, you would need one more Michelin to match that. Um, tell you what, this thing sure is straight. Usually people ding these things up a lot more there. People are challenged when driving these. 83,776 miles. Let's see, get the right key in here. There we go. All right. 83,776. All right, we're gonna look under the hood and what we're gonna be looking for our uh, Ford stamps on the fenders and on the core support, which would tell you that they're original parts, which of course matters a lot. There's one there. There's one there. Let's see what these wires are. Oh, you know, some sort of a like some sort of a stereo. They had some sort of a stereo something set up here before that they took out when they traded it in. That's what this is right here. And that's what this is holding up. Maybe, I, I guess my guy's probably left it in. Uh, might be of use to somebody later. right there and there's another Ford stamp there interesting it's a manual seat with with heat so this was a special order truck you don't see that very often this guy knew exactly what he wanted here you do have a manual you do have a wheel tool window tight seal those extra cabs you can get a little funky rattle going on and it's really annoying when they're not uh, tight it can be a real pain in the butt let me close this up here I'll open this so we don't get a rattle when we're driving window window door locks Oh, you know what? Let's try the mirrors real quick. Out, in, up, down, other side. Out, in, up, down. All right. This one has a heated seat. That's on, that's off. And this one's a power on this side. fine seats in really good shape the interior of this truck is great power pedals up down tilt that works fine all right let's hop in here i gotta pick up the pace here there's tow haul on and off get the seat belt on here before we get a buzzer ring in here All right, radio. All right, let's try the steering controls. That works fine. Radio controls for the steering wheel. Radio works fine. Let's see. Air. There's blowing. Oh. 
All right, let's try the steering controls. It's the fan. Here's the temperature from the steering. That works fine. Turn that off. Let's see. Rear sliding window. All right, that's that. Let's do a little systems check. There you go. All right, let me put it in a neutral. Uh, let's get this back. There we go. Let me get back to neutral, put it for low. Now we're for low. Drive. And reverse. Perfect. All right, put it for high. Now we're for high. Drive. It's a nice truck. Really nice. And reverse. And neutral. Back to two wheel drive. I see here we got a next uh, oil change is due at 85,198 miles. We just did one, but uh, that would indicate the guy took care of it before he traded it in. You can see the off light is on here. Just assume they're not going to work. Um, we already tested them and they don't. So that is on you. We're not even going to, usually we offer to fix them if people want to pay us to do it. I don't like fixing them because they never stay fixed. It's just one of the most annoying things ever. Um, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees are $250. Taxes are 2% city sales tax plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is, say, uh, 3% and you come here, you're going to pay 5% tax and $250 dock fee. If your state tax rate, if you're from Arizona, our state tax rate is 6.1. So if you come here to Tucson, you're going to pay 8.1% tax and you're going to pay a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is your agreed upon price and that's it. Um, boy, these roads are terrible. Jesus Christ. 8.1% <laughs> taxes and we have roads that look like we're in Bolivia. Um, like I said, if you pay by wire and ship, uh, you don't pay any taxes, no dock fees, just deal with the, whatever happens in your state once it arrives. Let's see what else uh, deposit please get your deposit in. once we have a deposit we'll put your name in a banner over the uh, truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know what's yours until then it is for sale um, the last thing I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I say this about everything uh, that we own uh, on our property it's warranty the people who built this truck ended the warranty in a certain number of years or a certain number of miles or both this is passed on the years for sure all right and on the miles. Basically, if they could have given it a two or 300,000 mile, 15 year warranty, they would have, and they would have sold a bazillion of them for a lot more money, okay? They didn't because they didn't know what was gonna happen. We don't know more than the people who built this truck, okay? There's no way we could. So, there's risk involved in buying a truck for, uh, that's used, whether it's from us or the new car dealer or anybody, okay? You're saving a bunch of money, some of the money you're saving may have to be spent on a repair sooner or later. It could be a windshield wiper motor or, you know, a lighter <laughs> or a heated seat or an injector. You never know, okay? So please put that in your mind. If you don't like risk, don't buy used anything. Don't buy used toaster, or your lazy boy recliner, anything. Buy new. Um, a new version of this truck has got to be, well, I know what it is. It's about 50 grand. Um, and you'll have three years of peace and, you know, no risk because you'll have warranty for three years. And you also have $40,000 in debt when you're done with that three years. And then you'll have uh, stress again. So, you're saving a fortune. Figure that in. Um, if you want to take a little bit of the stress away, uh, consider doing our Bulletproof package where we do the Bulletproof EGR and the Ford oil cooler. New fluids, new coolant, the whole bit. It's 1600 bucks, which is about a third of what most shops, at least half of what most shops are charging. And uh, we'll knock it out before it ships out or before you get here, okay? Um, that's in the middle of our ad. Please check that out. Look at the pictures that I'll put in. There's a microscope that you can click on to zoom in on things. Uh, lots of information. Thank you for your time.